the foundation this year has really taken the approach of expanding the opportunity for individuals within the organization as well as other interested parties, those that are really supportive of post-acute and long-term care, to apply to the foundation for potential funding of projects that are aligned with the mission and vision of AMDA. You know, we really want to align with the needs of uh, the residents in long-term care and assisted living communities, the needs of the facilities, and the needs of the providers who provide that level of care. So inherent to the mission of AMDA and PALTC is to really um, enrich the opportunities for understanding, to advance the technologies and new knowledge. So we're really interested in identifying the best of the best science that will help move those principles and quality of care forward for the organization. It's a very simple process, so let me say that um, all of our members received an announcement on Friday that this opportunity exists now, and it, everything is spelled out in pretty clear, detailed steps on the website. So you can actually go right on the website and you can identify uh, what are the major areas of focus, as we've just reviewed, the first step is that a potential investigator looking to get funded through the foundation would submit a letter of inquiry. And the letter of inquiry is just a few hundred words that really outlines what it is they want to do, why their work is important, how it aligns with AMDA's mission. And then um, the grant review organization, there's a committee of experts and we'll review those incoming requests and uh, then offer for selected individuals to put in a full proposal. So that way people aren't putting in a full proposal and potentially finding that it may not fit with the mission of the grant uh, portion. So this year, the timeline, since we sort of started this a little bit uh, past the beginning of the year, we, we anticipate having the uh, letters of inquiry submitted by May 1st, um, that the review committee will undertake the opportunity to review those and get back to individuals within two weeks so that then they have a full eight to ten weeks to prepare a full proposal. Even so, the full proposal as outlined on the actual website allows them to really just put, put in specific characters and fulfill the template. So we've made it as easy as possible. We want to look at uh, alignment with other organizations in terms of reaching out for co-sponsorship, as well as sponsoring other initiatives within AMDA itself to promote and advance um, the quality of care for the older adults we all serve. I think this is the first opportunity that members really have, have a chance to step up and uh, align with the organization in a new way. As, as members all know, the foundation has been a huge supporter of the Futures Program, which is so important for young uh, healthcare professionals coming into the organization and for the advancement of care in future years. This is now a second opportunity where the actual membership, both domestic and international members, can apply to get engaged with the organization early, 
to uh, align with our mission and vision to improve quality of care. And so I think it, it gives members a new way to uh, participate with AMDA, um, strengthen their personal career path, and fund their great ideas to move forward in, in this organization.